Hi, going to be showing something today on uh, custom QR codes, how to make your own. They're really simple. You're starting to see more and more of them all over the place. No one calls them QR codes. They call them 3D barcode thingies or whatever. But basically, they're the things you see everywhere that look like this. And you probably used them yourself. But if you have basically people with smartphones, you scan a picture of this, and instantly it does something on your phone. Usually what it'll do, it'll take you to a site. You'll see it on, say, someone's running for Senate, and they'll have this little ad on there, and you click it, and it'll take it to their website or a product and you click the little thing there if you want more information it'll take you to the website for more information so if you're doing any type of print advertising or anything like that you should probably really have one of these in your advertisement and I'm going to show you how to make a, a custom one real quick and as you can see on this one this is one I made for the site so if someone scans it right now on the phone it's going to take them to Guerrilla Word Fair as you can see most of the ones you see are usually black and white with this it's actually that shade of pink and the shade of gray from the logo over here that I used to make the code so that's just one thing you can do to kind of customize it make it stand out blend them with your ad whatever you want to do so we'll downsize this and we'll show you how to make your own there's a lot of different websites to make QR codes for free you know you can get some cool custom ones done on Fiverr or whatever but just simpler ones there's a lot of websites to free this website I've used a couple this is my favorite one to use because it's just got so many other options the most common use for a QR code, like I said, is usually to go to a website, but there's a ton of different things you can do with it. So this website, which I'll give you a link in the post on our site, is completely free to use. Look at some of the different options on what you can do with a QR code. You can browse to a website. You can have a bookmark a website on the user's phone. Make a phone call. Send a text message. Send an email add contacts to their little contact thing, add an event on the calendar if it's a specific event you want to push, show a specific spot on Google or Bean Maps, write to an iTunes item. I mean, there's all sorts of little YouTube URL for iPhone users, Twitter stuff. There's a lot of different options you can do here to create your own little code. So we're going to leave this one really simple to browse to a website. The website we put in was ours. URL shortening if you want to use bit.ly or some of the others to short the URL it's fine. Error correction level by default I believe it's low you should really crank this to high and what it is is basically say you're doing this for some type of print thing and something ends up on the paper a little crinkled this and that the higher that is it'll make it a little bit bigger QR code like a little more detail it'll make it like you know a little slower to scan in and process but I mean you're talking about hundreds of a milliseconds in speed difference but what it'll do is it'll make it more likely to scan even if it's a little fuzzy a little messed up something like that so if something happens to a paper your ad your banner whatever it'll still scan up to like if 30 percent of it's covered up as long as it's not like a key portion with this so you should definitely crank it up to high there's no reason not to your block size margin I just leave this standard I'm gonna skip over the output type real quick the foreground color and the background color by default it's gonna be white and black just like most of you see as you can see down here a little ad that's what they mostly look like but you can make any color you want the thing is you want contrast you don't want to use like one shade of pink a lighter pink on a darker pink if there's not a lot of contrast a lot of devices are probably gonna have a hard time scanning it in so make sure there's plenty of contrast with this I took the pink from our logo and the gray from our logo and there's plenty of contrast in it it scan just fine but you can click on here move this around to whatever color you want so once you pick your colors then you can pick your format if it's something you're going to do just for a real simple you're doing yourself you're going to insert it into a word doc or putting it on the web or something like that you can choose PNG just a normal graphics folder file excuse me click generate code and there it is you can right click save it to the computer and you've got yourself your own little custom QR code. Let's change it to a green color. Generate the code again, and there it is. That's how simple it is. Now, if you want to do, say, you're making like a large banner or something like that, you're going to use Photoshop or whatever tools for PNG probably isn't the most appropriate format. So what we can do is you can go down and choose SVG or some of the other ones if you want to use some of that format and then when you click generate code instead of just popping it up and you saving it it'll actually pop up a little link to download it so come here play around you know do an email one a website one a text message one get creative you're really only limited by your imagination so if you have any uh, 
any good ideas or if you have any creative ways that you use these in your advertisements for something else, by all means, uh, post it. I'd love to hear it. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.